Okay, so we were saying that the confrontation of situations, be it um, fluid or, or something that we're going through in a longer term, that you could use the energy that presents in that situation and ride that, right? Yeah, because it's, um, it's like a wave of high and low vibration. But if we are vibing throughout the, the, the situation, which is the relationship, and we're close, and we're in, we're into the the psyche of each other. We can really see how to work with each other. And in deep moments, if we're on the same page, and that that's an opportunity to to empower whatever it is that we're pushing for and upgrade, because we can do leaps leaps of progress in a short amount of time when we leverage opportunities, energy. It's just like meeting a person, and, and they have a resource and we leverage that relationship and now we have access to the resource. The same is when we're together in a relationship, we have access to energetic and spiritual resources. Yes. And although some some parts of the relationship don't seem too eventful, when some confrontation or some dilemma presents itself, that's just energy being presented. That's like an opportunity. Mm. If we look at it the right way. Yes, if, brother. If we can both at the same time if we can see, oh, look what's being presented to us and not get it uh, wrapped up in the emotion or, what, or outcome or whatever, the, whatever the, the case may be, just focus on energy flowing. Mm. If, we're, if we're on the same vibration and we're going in the same direction, then these things that are presenting themselves, we clearly know what to do with them if we have that overview. If we maintain the overview, because sometimes in a relationship it's hard, to maintain the overview when we get emotional and, and some people are not as aware as other people some people are not as considerate as other people at different times so it, it's a, it's a two way street well we're at different places we're with that. it's called emotional intelligence yeah and it's called emotional intelligence and we're at different places in our emotional intelligence um, in terms of the relationship and the psyche of two people dealing with each other and so you're going to be at different levels and and work differently but I think that what you stated in terms of um, just understanding the flow of energy and trying to respect it for it being energy and it being flow and maybe not taking things so personal or it be the separation of that's you and this is me more like yeah. hey what is presenting how can we work with these energies together as a couple because we are partners how can we work through these together because as partners we do partner up to assist one another when one is going through something that the other may need some strength from the other so being able to ride that energy wave together and as you said use the collective energy instead of just the singular energy and um, you know you take that for your advantage and you're able to help each other out to see what the lesson is and what the opportunity for a lesson is in what's presenting and there that is like where we feel quote unquote stuck that is where the direction of, of our Inter interaction is leading us. That's the, the, the journey being paid now with the link energy instead of like, oh, we reach a point where we feel stuck and then I go my way, you go your way, and it's no longer the story of, of the relationship. It's, it's, it's um, how can I get out of this situation because I feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And that'll be a job, that'll be a friendship, that'll be a relationship of lovers, whatever. Yeah. It is all energy. All of it is energy. Yeah, and we waste we waste a lot of energy on things that we don't need to because we fight and resist so much, and all these different relationships. And if we learn about the flow of energy and just how the ebb and flow of that works, and to remove the feelings from it, it it becomes much more powerful when we just can receive energy as energy, and um, and dance with it, no matter who it is in our life. Yeah, even when we're out in, in the world and we meet strangers, you know, like in, and then we're faced, we're faced with an uncomfortable uh, encounter, like, oh, I hate dealing with this type of person, <laughs> or whatever, whatever our brain tells us, right? Right. When we're uncomfortable. There's, there's that same opportunity of energy to do something with it, right? If we can be 
in the overview. It's very hard, like having the view from the upper region of our conscious, mm. our, our, our higher self. Mm-hmm. You know, looking at it downwards, you see all of what the body's saying, look what the heart is saying, look what your eyes are doing, look what your hands are doing, look what your mouth is doing. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's like this is overview of yourself, and then you choose. Yeah. From the from the upper Yeah, it's what 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 is one of my taglines is dancing with the universe. You you use your higher instincts so you could dance with all the different energies that are presenting, and um, and you really are coming at it from all these different angles and putting it together. And um, and it's like you have such a different overview um, from when you're personally effectuated by all these things that are quote happening to us it's more like um it's um we're we're being presented with the energies we're making choices on how we're going to dance and interact with it and instead of it being a good or a bad thing or even like let's talk about the judgmental thing like to even have to place a um a judgment on it like oh this is good or bad or this is right or wrong or this is ugly or pretty like to just let things be we don't have to put a categorization on these things on anything yeah. because there really yeah. is no judgment and the, the category is our, is our opinion of yeah the category well what comes out of our mouth will certainly tell a lot about what our psyche is saying inside um in terms of like if i say judgment i'm probably in a, a lot of state of judgment or i've been through a lot of judgment so we, we give clues away to, to where we're having challenges through our speech and our actions. But it is it is very interesting just to come into play with energy, to understand it. I know you and I separate ourselves from energy and from things and from circumstances and from, from um, situations because we do understand things from a much broader perspective. And so we tend to not... Um, not be so i'm going to say brought down by things or even if we are brought down by things it's very temporary because we understand we have to work through that energy and we're working with the universe on us manifesting whatever it is that we're vibing with as well so it's very much about our interaction with this current set of energies as well and what we're wanting to present and okay so what are you going to manifest how are you going to interact yeah. with this how are you going to make it turn to a situation where you like the outcome well oh you have to be that energy to get that outcome oh well we really have to change our vibe now right <laughs> yeah. because that what which in which we want we must be first yeah we have to live it yeah see it we do all about dancing with the energies. And we, and we reflect. So if we can see that, that we always, especially when we're close quarters with each other, we're always reflecting the psyche of another. And it's always being played out in like a mutated form. <laughs> like and we got to really pay attention to that when we are trying to elevate ourselves to the next level and the next level and keep on progressing. In, in energetic means and physically or financially, how do we want to progress through life? Just being aware and conscious. It, 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 it's, everything gets mutated and intermingled and intertwined and entrapped with each other. It's, it's, it's inevitable unless we're going to be in a, in a cave somewhere, you know, like, you know, not interacting with the world. That's not realistic at this point. It's, about it's definitely important to learn how to work with energy, learn how to work with people's energy, learn how to understand what's presenting, and learn how to ride the dang wave because all of us have these situations on a day-in, day-out basis with everybody we interact with. And getting comfortable mm-hmm. and familiar with energy is something that everyone has to do. It's true. Otherwise, it's like you feel stuck and 
then we go into that frustration, banging our head, banging our head, banging our head. You know, and we we we, we just stuck with this headache because we always bang our head into things, mm. banging into people. That resistance, oh. that resistance, and that uh, that um, that illusion. We're we're so blinded by what we want to see. Blinded by what we want to see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a pro at that. I don't want to look at that. I'm a pro at that one. I am the uh, I am I am a self admitted pro at that one. The illusions and what we want to see, but. You know, it's it's only for me. It's only in unpacking my own bags of of drama and bullshit and illusion and stuff that I tell myself that I'm able to really find the truth and what's presenting in my life, in my patterns, in my bullshit. And um, so, you know, it's good to unpack our own illusions. Unpack your illusions. Better start putting things in order. Right. Putting things that need to be in the shelf on the shelf, and things that need to be recycled, recycled, mm. things that need to be burned and buried, buried. Mm. <laughs> For real. For real, right? Yeah, put them in categories, and it's time to sort the things out in your life. Yeah, it's like spring cleaning, internal spring cleaning, energetic spring cleaning, winter cleaning, though. Yeah, that gotta be like quarterly. Yeah, we, we can't yeah. wait for the winter and the spring. We gotta do it constantly. Yeah, it's like that lady said. You know, when we talk about that, is uh, the energetic vampire because it's so subtle. You know, we need to be aware because the exchanges of energy has to be shared and, and has to be fair. And if we're not aware, in these confrontational moments we drain each other. Well, because mm. God. We are, we are that. We are that energy. Yeah. And when we're giving it out into something that doesn't bring it back, and we're doing that in a group setting, we drain and exhaust it. Mm-hmm. Especially in a group setting. We do. And it takes more energy to be in a group, and then if we're exhausting with the energy that we have, it's like explosive. It's a wrong kind of explosive. Yeah. We got a dog where you at? Uh, no, there was a crow out. Yeah, the crow wanted to talk for a little while. I think the crow was agreeing. Oh. Yeah, like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> for sure. Yep, yep. Word. <laughs>